so we will be first understanding that why we need python okay what is python we'll discuss later okay fine we first need why python why it is necessary okay first of all how you consider it why this language why why you are learning programming language if you guys can answer if anyone can answer like don't uh, take this question as why python just consider it as why programming language kyun padhna programming any thing would be there no that this is the reason i am learning this programming language so there is a reason every time for anything so what is a reason yes any simple answer anything whatever jo bhi aapke man mein aa raha ho kyun aapko seekhna hai sir i was interested in it okay you was interested in programming language fine for making day to day complex life easier so prashant is going to apply some oops concept using programming languages great okay see so programming languages if i consider in a very basic i have been like for now 5 years in this sector so if i you know just like uh, describe you that why we need this programming language is that it's simple like what i got an answer okay to make our day to day life easier okay the complexities of our day to day life easier we have a lot of things which work on programming languages a lot wherever you see it's all working on programming languages you know we all the new things coming now you use laptops you use androids you use mobile phones you know you use any other electronic stuff everything is working on some sort of programming you no know? if not python i will not consider that everything is running on python but yeah at least it's running on binary codes at least it's running on something which is done through machines machine languages only a lot of machine learning there is a difference between machine language and a machine learning there are some binary codes ordinal codes uh, some hexadecimal codes all these things are there you'll learn guys okay see so we have a lot of difficulties in day to day life to to solve all those problems we have something called as you know programming language not only day to day life problems but the problems faced in you know in terms of machines like if i say you a very basic example simple example to understand where we are using okay i gave you two three examples like uh, your laptops maybe your mobile phones okay right Achha. next thing we uh, see some auto driven cars nowadays no mm, tata has launched something now coming in tesla is there okay a lot more is there no auto driven cars now coming in every model actually so how they work no so they have some kind of a data if we don't have data you can't do anything this is the primary goal if you want to go in the data science machine learning ai dl any of the topic even a salesman is dependent on a data the whole world is running only behind the data nothing else if you have data you can perform something if you don't have data you can't do anything that's a simple thing right for any sort of task you are doing you should have a prerequisite data for that otherwise it is impossible no it is directly i can say it is impossible to do if you don't learn if you like you don't have a knowledge of how to do addition how can you add something you can't actually no because you don't have a data of how to add something if someone ask you uh, addition problem you don't know addition for now let's say i i ask you uh, to perform a Uh, regression analysis for example hmm it is there in your course for now let's say i i, I ask you to perform a clustering uh, algorithm how you will you apply you don't have any data of what even is clustering what is the algorithm behind it so the data should be there every side if i talk about in non it industry no let it be a salesman okay 
so if the salesman does not or is it like uh, what we say that phone call companies right so if they don't have any data how they will call you right how they will connect you a lot of things happens if bank does not have data like how it can store your money and all those things so everything in this world is dependent on data right and that is the only reason uh, which is like the data science jobs or data science you know uh, things are like in very high profile okay recently one two month back like i, I was in a training and uh, at bangalore i met some kid he was uh, around like class 8 standard kid um at some company i can't take the name but he's a data scientist in that company so that's like a good thing actually i saw right uh, a class 8 student kid was a data scientist working in a corporate sector actually earning something around 70 to 80 thousand per month that's a great thing actually so what he did nothing else started to collect it up very early and is now a data scientist see it's not all about learning 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 it's all about practicing so you are choosing a good language python because it is compatible with a lot of things a lot of trending topics now in the upcoming 10 years 15 years also the data is going to increase in a very rapid way actually okay so you have to go with the pace of the data also so there comes a new thing okay <coughs> there comes a new thing called big data analytics so it is not of your work for now you first need to understand the prelims of all these basic things okay so let's go with this why python we need to learn because there are a lot of reasons there are a lot of libraries there are a lot of frameworks we'll talk about what are these things okay there are a lot of concepts behind this particular thing right this particular uh, programming language so there are a lot of programming language which are very much popular and uh, are also you know uh, at least you should know the basics of them like c c++ javascript and you should know the basics of sql it's not kind of that but yeah you should know html these are not like languages now i say programming but yeah these are web coding languages it's okay so it at least these languages basics you should know basics in the sense like how to like if i talk about html how to create a page uh, how to write headings and all those formattings nothing else so when we compare python with other languages this python language has got a lot of libraries lot means a lot of huge library is there in python okay and a lot of frameworks for uh, i have written machine learning and ai because these are the trendings what are going and will be going after 15 20 years also because all these things is going to bring a huge amount of data right a huge means very huge amount of data and all these data has to be stored and worked on to uh, be in the pace with this world right so there are some of the very important libraries like scikit-learn numpy pandas scipy cborn simpy you know Th- these are used basically for all these things what i have discussed it now these are some of them okay there are a lot of libraries so these are some of the major like if i talk about numpy numpy has got almost uh, uh, we can say 700 functions okay 700 functions to work pandas i will say 900 functions something around so there are a lot of them okay fine this was the first reason that okay python has a lot of libraries fine okay it is good to work with ai good to work with machine learning now what else python has it is a platform independent language the very important thing of any programming language is that it should be platform independent the user should not be like that if only have i have laptop or i only i have windows laptop i can run this program only i have because if i talk about swift okay swift is a language which runs on 
Mac, right? If you have Windows, it will be a bit difficult. You have to install a lot of things to run that particular, to make virtual machines and all. So I'll not talk about that. A platform independent language means, one second. A platform independent language means that the code what you are writing can't you know run on any particular machine any particular machine means like any executable device i should say executable device can be your mobile phone it can be your tab it can be your laptop laptop operating system can be anything linux mac os windows anything because python is running from a very early age actually i'll describe that too but first understand the reasons now see so it means that if you don't have laptop that's fine you write your code on your phone run it it will execute there also that is called platform independent language and if it is a platform any language if it is platform independent will be obviously highly used okay because that give you facilities nothing else okay so two reasons done three reasons a third reason now it has a very big community and a lot of popularity. Popularity, all obviously, it would be having because it is having some sort of facilities. Okay. Now community means, uh, let's say, uh, communities are like, let's say, Facebook is a community, right? It is a community. Now in Facebook, you also have some groups. No, couple all entire Facebook is not yours. You might create a group in Facebook. You start chatting there. You send pictures, do a lot of things, whatever you want, right? So there are, uh, like, there can be millions of group in Facebook, right? Millions of group, million of communities, okay? So communities are like, simply, let's say you are writing your code, you got any error, you don't know the answer. What you'll do, copy that thing, post it in the community. Someone in the community will go and, like, help you, okay, this is, this is the error, and this is how it will be solved. So there are a lot of people working with this Python language that it is having the biggest community of any programming language. Okay, the biggest community of any programming language. So you have any errors, no one is there to solve you, put that error in the Python community, it will be solved. You will be getting your answer, simple. And that community is used for various purposes actually. If you want to hire someone, hire from the community. If you want to, you know, like get hired, you can be get hired from that community also. Okay. Now, the fourth reason is, <laughs> very easy thing. It is very easy to learn. The easiest language of any language if we know, right? Or any language you would be learning further also after Python. Whatever you would be learning in your colleges or ever in your life, it like if someone if something comes new, then I don't know. But for now, it is the easiest one, right? Because the codes what you need to write is just simple English, nothing else. No such uh, foundations, no no such uh, you can say like syntax and all. Because it has got very simple and easy semantics to work. If you want to write, uh, you know, like print something, print. You go with some other languages, print F and all. Lot of things will be there. Okay, additional you have to write to uh, run that things. A lot actually. So uh, this thing, it is very easy. Now coming next, what other things you can do with Python? You can develop a website. There is again a special framework for that. That is called Django. Okay maybe mongodb you can use in there okay ah, fine you can develop some softwares there is a library for that that's called pygame okay sorry it's not for software it's for games and graphics okay for softwares you can use any sort of things whatever you want the libraries based on your expectations so there are again android applications right uh, and the fourth one you will be doing actually in this course that is the data analysis using some visual tools and machine learning Okay, after you learn this data analysis using visual tools and machine learning, you will be able to go to the next topics of creating artificial neural networks and managing the big data 
you know big data is what i said you what is big data okay it's not a lot about uh let's say if i gave you data of your college data of your school data of your uh, family it is not a big data it's a small data small data let it be all number of features you want it will be it will be a small data comparing you take a data of population of india population of your state take that take a data of individual persons okay i'm talking about individual persons data of your state that is called a big data you have a lot of data there based on that you will be doing some analysis nothing else okay you have to be very good in presenting your data if you know that how you can present your data to your client or to any like whatever the expectation is let's say you, you you have to be very specific in this actually okay you learn something you need to teach to someone only then you will be developing this particular thing of presenting your reports presenting your dashboards presenting your things to the clients this this is all you are going to do actually nothing else okay you'll be learning language for one month for two months you'll be learning language you will be learning some sort of algorithms you will learn something now what next what do you have to do next you'll be given some projects when you will be going in some companies you'll be or you will maybe interning somewhere whatever you do okay so there you will get some technical steps of these things only so there you have to apply it practically okay so it's better to start early learn things start applying in some practical things okay practical approaches should be there because it is easy to learn things and very easy to forget them right it is very easy you are learning it, it might be okay sir it's all good going we are learning right it's understandable everything after two months sir all good we forgot right it happens so always be in practice if you are learning these kind of things actually okay fine so these are the things you can do with python now there are some features of python as compared to other languages there is no compiling and no linking now let me tell you compilations and what is interpretations okay so a basic example okay one guy faced that problem and that's the actually real scenario okay so let's suppose no we are talking about compilations and interpretations okay interpreter and compiler a very simple word but is working on the same thing actually for a practical scenario see i'll be giving you practical examples so that you can remember if you go on internet search what is compiler what is interpreter you will get hundreds of answers maybe thousands of answers okay but you may learn it for one month two month three month maybe for a year some day you will be confused but if you learn something practically you will never be confused actually okay and let's say like your class is going now okay the class is going now or uh, let's say examination is going now right you are sitting in uh, front of the camera you are writing your answers okay right that is fine maybe someone is sitting in your room suppose for an example what happened in covid actually maybe someone is sitting in your room and <laughs> saying you the answers you are writing it consider the same scenario you are writing your exam in classroom in with all your classmates and all you are sitting in an exam room in vigilators are going and you know. now think you can have two scenarios a question is there either you know the answer or you don't know the answer only two things can be there ya to aapko answer aayega ya to nahi aayega simple so consider that you don't know the answer okay or even if you know you know a little bit sab se simple thodi bahut answer aapko aati hai us question ki you will start writing and it may be possible that you are making mistakes right aap mistake kar rahe ho 
now in that classroom no one is going to come and rectify you that you have made mistakes wo to aapka answer sheet check hoga after that only you will get your results and then only if you ask your teacher it will tell you that he or she will tell you that okay this was a mistake and this is how you will rectify it so this is a scenario of sitting in classroom right aap classroom pe gaye exam diye paper likha मे बी एर शुड बी देर राइट बट दैट एर यू विल गेट आफ्टर द रिजल्ट कम्स आफ्टर ऑल दो प्रोसीजर्स सो दैट इज सिंपली यू गिव एन इनपुट इन योर पेपर इट गॉ एग्जीक्यूटेड बाई द एग्जामिनर राइट इन विच रिलेटर वॉट वे यू से एंड इट गॉट प्रोसेस्ड आफ्टर द रिजल्ट कम्स सिंपल थिंग यू कैन डूइंग सेम थिंग इन योर होम ऑनलाइन एग्जाम ओके writing giving input now if someone is having some sort of knowledge or even don't have knowledge you can get answers in your home right it's very simple and easy also in most of the cases there would be someone who will be telling you okay this is the answer write this okay and even if it becomes more easier if no camera is there just have to see the question write answer upload it that's more easier right no one is going to see so no even if you make error you will cut it you will see okay this is the correct one write the correct one that means in this online mode you have someone or you may be yourself you will be rectifying your error that where i have made mistake so this is the practical working of a compiler and an interpreter in interpreter if you make any kind of a mistake you will be notified in the next line itself let's say you wrote uh, 4 multiplied by 5 equals to something wrong okay you move to the next line for an example i'm saying okay in the next line you will get error that your above line is not correct so this is a working of an interpreter it will execute your code line by line okay once it executes your code it will check that any error is there or not if no it's good go to the next line no is again go to the next line and so on your code runs but in case it got an error it is that okay here you have made an error it will tell you okay here is a error please correct it but in compiler what happens the complete code will run after the program ends right it, it will give you an error after checking all those lines and finally it will give you error and this python is running on interpreter that means if you make error you will get it in second line only turak pata chal jayega you have made an error I rectify and run simple so this is compiling compiling means no teacher interpreter means a teacher simple someone will be there to instruct you rectify 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 in compiling no rectify direct results okay so this is a simple difference between compiling so in python there is no compiling or linking no type you have to declare automatic memory management see how good it is object oriented programming someone said no to handle uh, i asked a question so prashant said for making day to day complex life easier that is called object oriented programming then embedding and uh, extending some modules of c language exceptions you will learn what is modules exceptions and all okay c for c uh, dynamic loading these i'll not discuss now because you don't know c fine and python is also used for fast development see fast development okay mixed language systems a lot of language systems can be integrated as i said programming in large support a lot of things the speed of i will upload in your classroom okay you can take th- things from there now coming to what is an ide again the bigger question ide is something where you will write your code once ha huh. so ide is something where you will write your code it's not like you'll write in pen and paper and you'll your code will be running there no right simple aapko drawing karna hai to where you draw 
या देन ऑन ड्राइंग बोर्ड समथिंग और इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इन मशीन वेर यू ड्रॉ मे बी इन पेंट मे बी इन कोरल ड्रॉ एनी सॉफ्टवेयर यूज फॉर ड्रॉइंग ओनली इट्स नॉट लाइक यू गो इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड एंड स्टार्ट ड्रॉइंग नहीं ना राइट सो सिंपल इट इज इन प्रोग्रामिंग ऑल्सो यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोग्राम समथिंग देर आर स्पेसिफिक सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग ओके बहुत सारे सॉफ्टवेयर हैं अ लॉट ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर आर देर फॉर प्रोग्रामिंग सो दीज सॉफ्टवेयर वर्किंग इज जस्ट टू हेल्प यू टू राइट एंड रन योर कोर्ट्स now you have to decide that which software you need so what next you have to learn aur bhi kya cheeze dekhni hai okay hamare paas software hai right where we are going to run our codes next what you have to see is what more the software is giving us compared to other softwares this is a human tendency right if you are getting two things two similar things right from other other places different places चल कंपेयर दैट विच वन इज बेटर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू नॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू अदर्स राइट इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट टू फ्रेंड्स आर देयर वन इज यूजिंग जुपिटर सो अन अदर वन इज ऑल्सो यूज जुपिटर इट्स नॉट इन कंपल्शन सो इफ यू फील दैट नॉट जुपिटर इज अ बिट कम्प्लेक्स फॉर मी स्विच टू अदर आइडियली ओके देर आर लॉट ऑफ आइडियलीज आई यूज जुपिटर बिकॉज इट्स फ्रेंडली फॉर मी राइट आई फील गुड and i suggest also jupiter and pycharm that's fine uh, sometimes you use vs code uh, in my case vs code or jupiter yeah vs code is also preferable a lot of times when you are you know writing some uh, developing some api or something vs code is good okay and uh, html and all because those compilers enables uh, you to work with HTML, any other language also. In Jupyter, you will write Python or R. Okay, used to program languages. So that is ID. ID full form is Integrated Development Environment. Okay, everything is are being integrated in your environment. Environment will be there. So download Anaconda 486 MB something on Windows. Maybe increased. I don't know. the last time i saw it was 456 480 something okay so download that you will get a lot of editors because that is nothing but an environment actually and it will consist of all the packages which are important for data science machine learning ai everything if not will uh, like two three packages only might not be there but otherwise everything is there it consists of a lot of things actually okay so i prefer that i, I go with that thing only okay so that will be helpful for you guys also and uh, download anaconda and download uh, python so you just just you have to go to you know your browser write python okay i'll show you let me first complete these so id uh, this is when you download python no you will get something called as idle okay if you open it you will get something like this this is a python shell actually okay next uh this will start tomorrow what it is okay so let me show you some good things how to download an all window see 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 how amazing it is i was uh, teaching a student of class 4th today you know that concept was of uh, okay so just tell me that there are a lot of one three two okay eight students are there now So tell me when did you perform this program? Just frankly and uh, tell it truth. Checking an even and odd number when you perform this program. Anyone who perform checking an even and odd number, how will you check an even or a odd number? 
which the maybe I've performed in the previous classes which I've done with you. Uh, no, no, not with me, not with me. In your uh, school life or college life, anyone? When you guys have performed to check a odd and an even number? Eleven. Class eleven. Very good. Okay, I'll show you something good. Okay, these like uh, I was uh, dealing with a student today. See, class four student was learning how to program an even and an odd number using some good softwares actually these are the softwares which are made for these kids only right these kids are learning it through scratch scratch is not only to just put animations and all it is also to learn good things so <laughs> i was teaching the student of how to you know see i'll run this you just have to click so it will say hello let's get check even number odd number so you enter number let's say 43 so 43 is an odd number you again run okay now again it will ask 44 i give okay let's say 68 something it will say okay it's even number i'll stop this now right so it's simple concept i made the student understood like what is normal division what is integer division and what is a modulus right it was a good batch and no everyone performed very well learning this amazing thing so they are doing what they are learning this thing see they are learning actually python but they are learning it through scratch so what they did okay they learned a concept called loop see repeat is there they learned that okay how to ask something from the user so this is an input box actually then if the user's answer or let's just understand that if the number mod of 2 that means if the number mod of 2 means remainder giving 0 then it is an even number or odd number simple so class 4 student can learn this so you could believe like see all those programs what we do in 11 12 colleges are now dealing with class 4 students standard 4 third also there was class 3 student also so these things are going on now see they learned there that, that how to do that and then they came here isn't it this pro same program we did, you know, class 11, 12th and all. Even number, our number checking in this, how it does. Uh, okay. So let me show you first. This is how the speeds are going on. See the pace. Class or standard 3, 4 students are learning Python. So when they will come in class 11, 12th, what they will be doing? I don't know. Actually great. Okay. So uh, we'll search for Anaconda Navigator. Okay. Anaconda is a community what I say that you have to download this okay Anaconda is the you know very popular if I this case is okay. yeah. ah, very popular domain for uh, data science machine learning as I say just have to come here first link you have to click Anaconda next okay I'm having Mac so it is showing for Mac no problem you have Windows Linux and Mac here just click on Windows if you have Windows click on this Windows uh, yeah it will directly take you to anaconda installers okay now it's 488 for 32 594 for 64 bits and it is running on python 9 3.9 version very good nice okay so yeah i mine was 428 mb okay now next thing you have to do is you have to install python so this is python right just directly you'll write python in the internet uh, in the chrome hit the first link downloads you will get this downloads go in downloads okay uh, you will get this one download for windows there will be an option called download here i'm getting it uh, uh, this uh, website is actually automatically detect that what type of operating system you are operating with and then it suggests that for you okay so you'll click on windows if you have windows so it's uh, the latest release of python don't do go with the python 2 go with python 3 only don't go with python 3.10.4 if you want you can take that too no problem you can take 3.9 so can you again show how to download python uh, sure just go write python uh, what i'll do i have a drive actually uh, where i have these softwares i'll share the link you can directly down from there also but it's okay if you learn how to go and search and download that is much better 
so write python go to the first link welcome to python.org came here see a fibonacci series example simple nice functions okay come to downloads windows click on windows you'll get this okay sir so which will i have to download means 3.10.4 or 2.7.1 no don't go over 2.7 go with 3 point something click on this you got some good snakes nice come downwards come downwards just go and see your system configuration whether it is a 32 bit system or it's a 64 bit system uh, most of the times now if new laptop is there i guess 64 would be there because it, it's now 64 coming in so 64 you'll just click it will download once it's downloaded click on that install it you just click on this enter enter and uh, the third step would be add to path add to path will come click on that check box okay uh, while you will be installing put uh, the pictures on the group i'll suggest like what to click how okay you just have to check box this add to path and it will be downloaded very simple after this is done uh, and so how to link the kind of content path uh, no no linking is required just downloading is required no, no linking just uh, 64 bit you will download enter 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 download it oh, sorry installed okay once installed nothing to do else that's it done it will be automatically linked okay when you will write your codes the machine will detect that you are having python in system that's it okay so this is your like python thing and all okay so uh like if we now talk about python carriers okay i've given you our uh, how boots schedule would be there so now if we talk about python carriers let me take a slide where i can show you one minute introduction 